I seen um Zan had tweeted something out. He shouted out Lil Dude and was like, um, cause you know like they're always working together and shit, but like he had tweeted something, he was like, Lil Dude is the only artist that like managed to stay relevant in the local scene throughout like every single time period. Uh, I, I, at first I thought he ass. at first I thought he was li- at first I thought he was lying, but then I was like, wait a minute, that might actually be true. Real live, cause Lil Dude was like Lil Dude was was just starting off like during the big flock and fame reek. Yeah. Era and like he would always get the big flock features and shit like that. And then when Big Flock got locked, Lil Nye was still relevant. And it was like Shabazz was just starting to come up. Like that 2015, 2016 period. And then Will the Rapper Drop Pull a Pop Out. Lil Dude was still relevant too during that period. Yeah. And then after that, when it was like um when Gunu started coming out, Lil Dude helped them a lot with like building up Gunu's buzz. Cause they were like all of them were cool with Big Flock and all that. Yeah. And then even now, like Zan is at the top of the food chain and shit for like DMV rappers and Lil Dude is like right yeah right there with him so it's like damn like Lil Dude like I think if he was always by himself kind of like Will the Rapper like Will the Rapper like he would do features mm-hmm. but a lot of his shit would just be like solo mm-hmm. I think if Lil Dude went that route he wouldn't like he he would have ended up like look like Lil Nye and Will the Rapper and all that but like the fact that he um he always like kept an eye out for like who was next up and he was able to like network with them and shit. That's what he really kept them. Cause like Lil Dude, I feel like Lil Dude still got a chance to like, he might not go super mainstream, but like he could definitely, he could definitely like at least live as comfortably, com- comfortably as like Q right now. Most definitely. Yeah, like, like, like he's not that far off from Q the Fool. Nah, he's not that far at all. I feel like he will live. He drops, he drops, he, he keeps, he keeps fucking with Zan. He keeps fucking with Gunu. Yeah. Like how we were talking about how um, Young Manny doing the future with Big Flock was real beneficial because like it was giving him more like local validation. Zan always, because I remember I seen in an interview, Zan had tried to hit up like Will the Rapper and Lil Nye for features when he was when he was trying to come up and they wouldn't give him the time of day. Lil Dude was like the one that gave him like local scene validation, especially when Zan was coming up. A lot of people. Like, a lot of regular people in the area was like, bro, what the fuck are y'all listening to? Like, what is this? You know, they didn't understand it. Like, the fact that they would see, like, low-do features and shit, they'd be like, all right, well, it's at, it's at least worth a listen type shit because Lil Dude's already got enough credit from, like, Big Flock and, like, yeah. Gunu and, like, all these other people. So, it's like, Zan, I feel like Zan is, like, humble enough that, like, even if he got to, like, a Rico Nasty level, he would never, like... Take that, take that um look that little dude gave to him for granted. Mm-hmm. Cause I feel like even even if they never had like a f- falling out or nothing like that, yeah. like they're probably cool enough that like they wouldn't even it wouldn't even he wouldn't even be thinking about it that deep. Mm-hmm. But it's like Lil dude did a lot for like Zan getting the local scene to really push him, and then now Zan's got like he's got like all the internet people and like the, all the white kids and shit really mm-hmm. fucking with him. Yeah. And Manny, Manny, he's, he's got like more like Manny's got more of it. Yeah, yeah, man. Manny's got the Manny's got more of an internet following and like the middle school following than like the local scene. But he's got like the validation and everything from like the Zan feature. The big flock was a real big look on him. But he's got to do more songs like that to get the local scene down. But it's like at the end of the day, like how we were talking about too, as an artist coming up, you would much rather have the internet scene on lock than the local scene because it's like if you have respect from the local scene no matter how far you go and how far you fall back they'll always have your your back or whatever because like somebody like Fetty Wap who had like just straight internet and he got it so quickly he had like no core audience to fall back on like if you have a core audience you're always gonna have like somebody supporting you type shit you know but at the end of the day if like the local scene is all you have. You're not going to get too far with that. As an artist coming up, you got to tap into the internet. And, like, I feel like that's that's what happens with a lot of the DMV artists. Like, I think now they're starting to realize because they see, like, how it works for, like, Zan and Rico. I think Rico and Q were talking about how they had, like, enough songs to make a tape. They need to drop that shit ASAP. The fact that Rico is still, like... Yeah, that like, Q needs to realize, like, that is a big-ass look for him at this point in time. Me and Pat walk in your crib. Take all that shit out your fridge. I don't care what you say, bitch. I call dibs. Talk down my niggas, ain't blitz at your ribs. Ball heads be spin, ain't no Freddy Gibbs. Pat just says, now take it back like I script. But I hit her, I'm strapped, they got no time for kids. Hit the J and I'll smack, I ain't touching no six. 